Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do changes in accounting equation or if you have a beginning balance and things happen uh, during the period, what's the ending balance uh, using the accounting equation. Now, what we want to do is set up a template where we can solve different problems. I have three different problems. I'm going to set up a template and what we're going to do on that template is we're going to show um, what happens and then figure out you know, what we're missing. So here we have, I've just set up assets, liabilities, and equity. Remember the accounting equation is assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. So we'll have a beginning balance like beginning of the year and then the changes that, that happen and then the ending balance end of the year. Sometimes we know the ending, we have to back in to find the beginning. Uh, sometimes we know two of the three and we can figure out the third one. So this is how you do uh, three different examples. This should be helpful for you. So what we want to do is just create a little template and then I can copy this template down and do the math on it and that way we can figure it out every time. So you're always going to set up assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. At the beginning of the year, Addison's company's assets are 300,000. So beginning of the year is 300,000. All right, I'm going to format all these for dollar signs and zero decimals, okay? It's equity at the beginning of the year is 100,000. All right, what do we know? At the beginning of the year, assets are 300, equity is 100,000. So we can calculate liabilities. So our liabilities are going to be 300 minus the 100. So liabilities have to be 200,000 in this case. During the year, assets go up, increase 80,000, and liabilities increase by 50,000. What is equity at year end? So what we're trying to figure out is ending balance of equity or what is the equity at the end of the year? All right, so um, our beginning balance plus the changes of positive 80, our ending assets are 380,000. Our ending liabilities, we can just copy this across if we're just adding it up, right? So our formula, remember I'm gonna use a formula, I'm not gonna type in 380,000. I'm gonna type in uh, the formula D6 plus D7, and that way um, we have the liabilities of 200 plus 50 is 250. All right, so what is our ending balance? Well, we know that it's assets have to equal liabilities plus equity, so therefore I can take the 380 minus the 250, and our answer is, what is equity at year end? Our answer is 130,000, because we know that the balance sheet always has to be in balance at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. We can see the changes. If we know two, we can always figure out the third one. All right, so I'm going to copy this down because it's a template. I'm going to copy it here for the next one. The next one is um, Office Store, and we're going to get rid of the numbers, but everything's formatted, and we can see it in a, we lay it out in a format that we know. Office Store Company has assets equal to 123000 and liability is equal to 47,000 at year end. So here we have year end numbers, 123, and liabilities are 47,000. What is the equity at year end? Well, this is a simple little problem with no changes. It's simply going to be 123 minus 47. So our ending equity at the year end for this company is 76,000. All right, the last one we're going to do um, is different problem still of the first three. So it says at the beginning of the year, Quaker companies' liabilities equal 70,000. Be careful. When I did this a minute ago to practice, uh, I put the assets in at 70 and I was getting it wrong. So you have to be careful. Make sure you put in what it says, not what you, you know, think, oh, I need assets first or whatever. So liabilities equal 70,000. During the year, assets increase by 60. Assets increase by 60,000. And year in assets equal 190. Liabilities decrease 5,000 during the year. Now, because I have this formatted for dollar signs, it's not going to put the negative sign, it's going to put it in parentheses or these brackets. So if you see something uh, in accounting, 
uh, something in a table like this uh, that has brackets around it, that's going to be negative. It's easier to see than just a small little dash in front that's the negative sign. So we know that this is a minus. So what is our beginning balance of assets? Well, some number plus 60 equals 190. So to do the opposite, we take the 190 minus the 60. So it must be 130. 130 plus the 60 equals 190. So Excel is going to be much easier to do than, you know, just even do it with pencil and paper or pen and paper or whatever. Now here, what is uh, the total liabilities? Well, it's going to be the 70 plus the minus 5, right? And that's going to be 65,000. So what's the question asking? What are the beginning and ending amounts of equity? Well, it's going to be real simple. 130 minus 70 equals 60,000 at the beginning and 190 minus 65, the ending equity is 125. So this is how you do problems that have beginning balance and changes and ending balance. And we can solve, we can solve for a beginning balance, we can solve for an ending balance. Uh, we could even solve for changes if, if uh, we're given that. If you're given beginning is 130 and the ending is 190, what's the change, right? So. This is how you do these problems. I got several problems, several videos that show several problems on doing accounting equation. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.